From the News Channel 8 studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Melanie Hastings. You lift weights to strengthen your muscles. Well, how about keeping your heart strong? Dietitian Rebecca Scritchfield says you can eat your way to a healthy heart. Good to see you, Rebecca. It's great to see you, too. You and know, February is the month to talk about yes, heart health. Yes, Heart too, Health yeah. Month. And I was researching before the segment 20. 8 million Americans have heart disease and you know we don't need another person mm -hmm. and you know it's never too early to start making changes so I it's all about choices simple. right yes choices and moderation of course but we're all going to focus on kind of what I brought that's better for you and why all right let's talk about what we could snack on that's okay for our hearts right okay so um, I love when I work with pistachios um, wonderful pistachios it's just a wholesome snack mm -hmm. um, it's definitely heart smart for you one of the main things that it provides is 90% of the fat is unsaturated that's the good fat so that's what you're looking for it's also got eight percent of your daily value of potassium and that's more than other nuts so you know while all nuts are good you get that extra bonus of extra potassium in the pistachios nice big serving mm -hmm. size just have to watch about the salt but I mean right. I found some varieties of pistachios that are low salt for right so yeah get a little so salt exactly yeah. wonderful does um, no salt mm -hmm. and lightly low. salted mm -hmm. and both of those get that heart check from the American Heart Association and do you so get them with good. the shells or the unshelled you you could do either or if you're busy then the unshelled can be or the shelled can be great for things like granolas or topping mm -hmm. yogurts but the shelled takes you longer to eat the yeah. 49 kernels mm -hmm. in a serving so you can make that snack last a really long time 49 kernels huh yeah, pretty big seem portion like, I guess <laughs> although when you're eating them like this yeah. it goes very fast but like compared to 10 <laughs> cashews that's I'd true. rather take 49 <laughs> that's true okay so that's a good choice exactly All right, and I see you also brought some vegetables right well you know I love my color and so I was focusing on you know veggies these can be crunchy snacks, you know. Um, look at the dips, though. So, of course, this creamy dip, if you didn't know my little secret, you would think it's sour cream, but it's actually fat-free Greek yogurt with fresh herbs, lemon, and dill. So you can get tons of flavor, mm. low salt, low saturated fat. That sounds delicious. Yes. And what's the other dip you have there? Oh, this is a guacamole. So again, the good fats are in the guacamole as well. So different flavor profiles, colorful vegetables. Mm -hmm. Think of those as snacks. Think of pistachios more often than potato chips. Put it so to you that would way. hummus be another good dip? Hummus is a great uh -huh. dip. Black bean dip. Mm -hmm. You can go crazy with your dips as long as you know salsa. You know you're looking for um, good nutrients for the calories. Be careful of the creamy ones. Exactly, and use Greek yogurt instead. Okay, that is a good tip. I, I like that, and I, I like Greek that. yogurt yeah, too. It exactly. tastes just the same. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have here? the middle section. So this is make over your meal. So I'm showing a lasagna, which I will admit I love. I mean, it's so rich and delicious, but for heart health, it's over a day's worth of saturated fat and sodium. So you really got to be careful with how often you have a dish like this. I did a meal makeover and it starts with taking another look at your oil that you use. Um, this is a recipe. It's a kale and cherry tomato. It's on the Mazzola Facebook page where you can get it. And it's a corn oil. So, you know, most people know about olive Olive oil and canola oil, those are good for your heart, but we don't talk that much about corn oil. All of them have unsaturated fats, the good fats, but what, what Mazzola has over the others is plant sterols. What these do, they literally, when you consume it, it helps block cholesterol absorption, so it helps reduce the risk of high cholesterol, which is associated with your heart disease. Wonderful. Yeah. That's, it's good to know when mm -hmm. you're choosing your oil, exactly. choose this one if you yeah. have uh, a cholesterol issue. Exactly. Yep. And just and just add it to your repertoire so you can bake with this. You can. I'm showing some sautéed, uh, stir-fried vegetables rather. They, in this dish, we sautéed the vegetables. Um, and with the plant sterols, you get 40% more than canola and four times that of olive oil. So it really is a boost, something to add in. So instead of the lasagna, which right. you just only eat occasionally, exactly. this is the better choice. It's got yes. the whole wheat pasta. Whole wheat pasta, kale, Lots cherry tomatoes. And just a little bit of uh, feta there on uh, top. Just a little feta. You know, it's a salty bite. I'm not going to mm -hmm. totally take away the cheese, but it's a lot less is the point. Okay. And, so you um, can spices. eat pasta. Yes, you, you can. can. Eat whole wheat. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, over here, we're moving Moving to an area that looks a lot like potassium related. You thing. are I correct. See the bananas here. <laughs> yeah, so we all think of bananas when we think of potassium. Great snack. What a lot of people don't know provides a high amount of potassium, even more than bananas, is coconut water. This is just 
the juice from fresh young coconuts. It's the water that is inside. So it's actually um, low calorie, but high nutrients, very high in potassium. Um, it's got also magnesium and calcium, other important electrolytes, and um, only 45 to 60 calories per serving. Some of them you could get with a little bit of pineapple added, a little bit of orange added, and um, so lots of good nutrients for the calories that you're going to get. It's a great hydrator. Mm -hmm. You know, we were talking earlier about mm -hmm. exercise. I do this before or during workouts. So this is the, you don't just have water, you have I would have water. coconut water, well, because you get the benefits of the electrolytes. Potassium, a lot of people don't get what it does for heart health, but it is involved in every muscle contraction. Your heart is a muscle. So every heartbeat, we need 4,000 milligrams of potassium a day. Coconut water has over 500 in just one cup, wow. so you can really get there. Bang for your buck and yes, not too many exactly. calories either. And then just real quick on the potatoes, you know, I'm cheering for the white potato today because it has more potassium um, than sweet potatoes. I love them both, but you know, people heard no white stuff and got rid of white potatoes, and I say bring them back Bring them in. back, okay, a little bit. And the final uh, chapter over yeah. here is making sure you get enough rest. Enough rest and anything to de-stress. We de-stress when we sleep. It's busy DC. We're stressed out over everything. You need to turn off your screens. That actually keeps you up at night. It keeps your melatonin from, um, from being produced. Things like hot tea helps open up your blood vessels and help you relax. But if you chronically live with stress, you're increasing your risk for heart disease for no reason at all. You just gotta chill out. All right, take care of your heart. <laughs> exactly. Rebecca Scritchfield, thanks so much for showing take us how care. we can eat our way heart healthy. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after the break.